first, uh, the White House said this afternoon that there's evidence now that Iran actually has troops on the ground in Crimea supporting Russia's invasion. Um, has the Pentagon seen evidence of this? And do you have further comment that you can make about uh, the drones, the continued Iranian drones that seem to be uh, striking in Ukraine? And then secondly, on the Dobbs memo today, um, could you talk a little bit first about the timing of the memo? We are just a few weeks away from the midterm elections and abortion has become such a central topic of this election. Um, for the service members who are at bases across the U.S., how does this memo really protect them if they seek abortion care services, but first they have to go through one chain of command, then another chain of command, and then another chain of command? How are you really going to protect their privacy and ensure they get the access they need? Sure. Um, on, the, on your first question, yes. Um, we do assess uh, that Iranians have been on the ground uh, in Ukraine to assist Russia uh, with uh, the drone operations there. Um, and so in terms of uh, what that means, obviously, again, we continue to see Iran uh, be complicit in terms of exporting terror, uh, not only in the Middle East region, but now also to Ukraine. Uh, and so, um, you know, I think that speaks for itself. In terms of the Dobbs memo in uh, regards to the timing, uh, as I mentioned in my opening comments, uh, the department took a very deliberate and thoughtful approach. Um, we commented on, on the, uh, the decision as soon uh, as it was made and have been working uh, very hard over the last few months to come up with an approach that's going to address service member concerns and help clarify uh, DOD policies. Um, I think that um, the fact that uh, taking care of our people continues to be the number one priority. Uh, there is no uh, timeline in terms of we can't work fast enough when it comes to taking care of our people. And so, uh, as I mentioned, we uh, following the Dobbs decision, we put together a DOD wide multidisciplinary team that analyzed all of the different aspects. Um, we sought feedback from service members to, to address their concerns. Um, and then, as the secretary's memo highlights, uh, in the uh, time before the end of the year here, we'll continue to work on policies that do address how we can best uh, create a uniform policy in regards to service member privacy um, and making sure that they have the information they need to make informed decisions.